What was it like to ride in a Tesla on autopilot? Nerve wracking or exhilarating? It's uh, the word I would use is maybe creepy in the sense that uh, it just feels kind of weird to have the car turning the wheel, accelerating uh, with no input from you at all. And it, it's very human-like, but that can be deceptive because it's, it really does require supervision. So Zachary, you hint on the tension, which is it's a great technology, but casualties are also coming. Is that the internal tension that Tesla's facing right now? So Tesla's strategy in terms of getting to an autonomous vehicle is really different from the other players in the space. Uh, people like uh, the Google spin-off Waymo or General Motors are being very, very cautious and careful and trying to kind of get to a fully autonomous functional vehicle before they kind of release it broadly to the public. And Tesla is basically taking their, um, their kind of semi-autonomous product and, and trying to put it on the road as fast as they can, sell it to as many people as they can. And so with that strategy comes risk, right? I mean, people are gonna be out there misusing it and in some cases dying. Uh, but Tesla actually believes that they can get to full autonomy quicker that way by having this kind of fleet of cars uh, that are, you know, that, that have the technology installed. Where is the regulation around this? So to regulators, autopilot right now today is simply an advanced driver assistance feature. So it's, it's basically like cruise control. So as long as the humans are supposed to be supervising it all the time, regulators aren't really, uh, they, it doesn't have to pass any special regulatory hurdles. Obviously full autonomy is gonna be a big regulatory hurdle in most US states because you have to have a, a license to drive a car and so how do you give a computer that license? That's very tricky. So Tesla has a way kind of to get something quasi-autonomous, semi-autonomous on the road now without having to meet that regulatory hurdle. Except that Tesla has said that they want full autonomy, I think by 2020, right? I mean, then what? Right, so Elon Musk has said that this year, uh, aut autopilot will be feature complete, in other words, you can, you can turn it on on any kind of road condition, any kind of road, and then by next year, he expects it to be so good that you won't have to supervise it anymore. And that is an incredibly ambitious, bold uh, timeline, considering that you know, Waymo's been working on this for 10 years. They're not anywhere close to having a, a fully autonomous car, and they're not, they're not making promises about being able to do it in a few more months. Well, and Zachary, we know that Elon Musk does make pretty bold, grand predictions and visions. Why does he think that he will beat out the competition that you just mentioned? So the theory at Tesla is that the, this huge install base, this 500,000, 600,000 cars on the road with autopilot, uh, essentially give them the competitive advantage that they can take data, they can actually use all those cars to train their algorithm to get smarter and that the, the data advantage will actually allow them to get to autonomy quicker. 